Welcome to the amazing world of Transformers Bot Shots. These small toys are set to battle it out and you decide the weapon which will knock out your opponent. This is done in a very similar way to the game Paper Scissors Rock. If you like Transformers who play hard and fast, this is a toy for you because these guys transform in milliseconds and are ready to replay battles in record time. Don't let the small scale size of this toy put you off. Once you have these fellas in your hands, you can't stop playing with them. I'm pretty sure it'd be easy to invent other games to play with your bot shots because imagination has no limitations. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Transformers Bot Shots Battle Game. Transformers, robots in disguise. Well, this is a rather small toy, but let's not let that be a negative thing because small toys can be very much fun as well. Looks like uh, when these things crash into something, they bust open and reveal who's inside. Uh, it's telling me it's a battle game, and on the back side of the packaging, it looks like each of the bots have got uh, a different ranking or ratings. And it's saying to choose the one you're going to battle with very carefully. And it looks like there's something in the middle that you flip around to choose uh, the weaponry you'll use in your battle. It's also important to note here, this is obviously a toy which comes where you collect a whole bunch of characters. And it seems to be there's some very special ones as well. A Superbot 001. You can tell me what that is, I don't know. This toy is for ages 5 and up, so it's safe for me to play with, and it's brought out by Hasbro, who have a tendency to do very good toys. Well, I've purchased two of the launchers that give you an accurate launch. I've got the Optimus Prime launcher there, that's a good guy. And I've got the Megatron launcher there, and he's the bad guy. I grabbed a couple of three packs of vehicles. There's the Autobots in a three pack, and there's the Decepticons in a three pack. You can also add to your collection by buying just single packs of your favourite Transformer. I'll be opening up these toys very carefully because I'd like to give away all the toys that you see in this review to one YouTuber. Come on, out you come. Oh, come on. I'm giving up. Silly Leo, he didn't see the invisible rubber band that's holding these critters into their packaging. Look at that. It's a nasty little trick, isn't it? Oh, grab that unboxing bits over. That was a fail. And inside there's a little brochure here, which is small and slightly informative. Choose your power. So there's that uh, thing they were talking about in the front. Looks like you follow it up, you have a smash, and then looks like there'll be some sort of winner and it seems to be the chosen by the fact that whatever it is the blaster beats the fist I think it's a fist, the fist beats the hypodermic I don't know <laughs> it's basically paper scissors rock that's the best way of saying it before I get into any more trouble well there's barricade on my hand and if you hit the front I think it's the sound they make when they open up <laughs> it's fairly nice looking I dare say the Transformer fans will report to me whether they approve this or not. Uh, on my first appraisal of this, it, it looks like fun. Um, there's that thing that you select, so that's purely like paper, scissors, rock. So I think, you, you, wouldn't you just be going for, I don't know, I think kids make up their own game, just go for the highest number. Um, but that has no nothing to do with the way they open up, There's that's just a free-floating piece. Um, I dare say you have to plan your attack and the way you hit the other person quite well and on this one I guess they all work the same as the front bumper gets hit and it flies open well there's barricade who's the police car and the star screen who's a jet fighter I haven't got a clue whether these guys are good or bad <laughs> they're fairly babyish looking toys but then again they are aimed at younger children I actually like coming in and triggering them off to their bot mode look at that and now they've been magically transformed. They look pretty cool. They look like they're ready for a fight. And as toy eye candy goes, I'm giving these the thumbs up. I like the look of these. I'm pretty sure the kids will like them as well. And when going in to look at the head detail on these toys, you know what? They look pretty good as well. The best part is, especially for people like me, is they're really easy to reset. Because um, you've seen me before, I have trouble with these critters trying to fold them back up. Well, I'll get into the three pack, and these are the Autobots. These are good guys. I think the one thing I'm looking for is 
some paperwork to tell me like the whole, I want to see the whole collection so I can tell who's good and bad but I'm not finding that, I'm just very similar to the paperwork in what's in a single bot shot and it looks like these guys are held in um, the same way as the little packs so here are the Autobots, there's Sentinel Prime, who's a fire engine of course, I know him from the Creo set I did um, there's Prowl and Bubblebee is that um, yellow critter and what is also interesting is these toys are manufactured in Vietnam. Now for the fun bit. Well here we are after some very radical transformation. And the Autobots, well, are what they are. Some people won't like these because of how basic they are. But then again there will be some who really enjoy the fact that these little critters can play with each other. And there's actually a battle game involved. And now let's look at the Decepticons. We've got Nemesis Prime and Megatron and Acid Storm. Oh, what a name. Acid Storm. Well, these Decepticons are doing it more for me. These look great. We've got Nemesis Prime, Acid Storm and Megatron. And I can start to see why these are massively popular. Now these guys look really evil. The devil is in the detail. Well, here are the Decepticons, all opened up. And what is interesting about Transformers is uh, they sort of got big and came onto the planet just as I was leaving school. And that's a long time ago. So this is a very popular franchise, which has been around for a very long time. And what is interesting, I want you to do a little bit of reading online, and there's a lot of depth to this franchise. It's a big one to to take in in a very short amount of time but it's very interesting how Hasbro basically made this into a monster it's one of their flagship brands and now I'll get into the launcher packs and what also I noticed online is that uh, this toy has an online game and it would seem that the two married together although the online game looks pretty good actually from the bit I looked at uh, maybe you can tell me you prefer the online game or you prefer real toys in your hand. Well, the Optimus Prime launcher comes with a little instruction manual and in how this little thing works. <sighs> and I can give you a quick demo on how he sets up. The launcher is pretty simple to set up. Got some guns here. You've got to have guns on stuff, don't you? And to set up the thing that pushes, does the pushing, you push that back, you get your Optimus Prime. And you're ready to launch. Three, two, one, fire! Kapow! What is interesting, you can launch by pushing up here, or you can do a rear ender like this and have a launch. Yeah, go Optimus Prime! Well, I dare say you're getting the launcher pack because you want some accuracy in getting rid of those Decepticons. Got a baddie lined up in my sights, let's fire him down. Three, two, one, and fire! And after you shot them, I dare say you can then come in and have a big battle like this. Nobody defeats Optimus Prime. Rawr! And if you like me and enjoy an evil mashup, you can do this. Ooh, that's going to upset the fanboys. And let's not forget the Megatron launcher. And it's very similar to Optimus Prime. Open them up, there's guns in here. Can't have stuff like this about guns. It's the same catapult system, and I can put Megatron in there, and we can fire in three, two, one. Those Decepticons doing it for me. I like the look of them. There's a really neat feature in both of these launchers. If you hit them in the back, they'll open up. I better do the good guys as well, so there's a balance in the equation. In both launchers there's a safety feature that stops you from latching the launcher when it's held up in the air. If you look underneath, there's a little bit of plastic that when it's down on the ground gets pushed back and will then allow you to latch the launcher. Oh, I've got the launcher latched. If I load it up in the air like this, it could become dangerous. Three, two, one, and fire. Oh, nearly got you, Thomas. These launchers are great and they do seem to give you a fairly accurate launch. But let's look at an alternative in case you just want to play with the bot shots without launchers. Whenever I think toy cars, I think of Hot Wheels. So let's see how it goes on Hot Wheels track. And unfortunately the bot shots are a little bit too wide. 
What about a Hot Wheels launcher? Can we get a launch out of a Hot Wheels launcher? Three, two, one. Ooh, just nailed Thomas. If you don't mind playing rough and ready, maybe this is a logical alternative. Maybe while using the LEGO minifigure base plates, I can make a very crude system to launch my bot shots. Well, it's not going to give me a LEGO design award, but what I'll do is I'll put my bot shot in there and I'll basically just flick it out and see how we go. So here we are with this very crazy LEGO launcher and it's only a finger flick. I'm going to try and get Bumblebee in three, two, one. Got him. And to prove that just wasn't a lucky one-off, I've got Sentinel Prime here and I'm going to go for that Jet Fighter 1. Lining him up. I've got the name of the Jet Fighter, but let's go. Three, two, one. Got him. Don't get me wrong, those launches are very, very cool, but you don't need them to have a play of the game. And I'm sure you guys can tell me other ways of launching these little bot shots. Well, I've got all my bot shots lined up here and I've blue taped down a roll of black tape and I'm wondering if we can have a big chain reaction set off if I come along and have Optimus Prime rear end this lineup of Transformer bot shots. Well, this is either going to be really gay or really cool in three, two, one, go! Was it gay or cool, guys? Tell me. Well, after that horrible rear end by Optimus Prime, I wonder who's won here. Was it the Autobots? All those fantastic looking Decepticons. So I've had a bit of a play and a bit of a fiddle with this toy. Obviously a toy aimed at younger children. It's very much modelled for younger children as well. It's easy to play with, it's easy to reset. There's a bit of a strategy involved, a little bit like paper, scissors and rock. I don't know, it's, a, it's one of those ones. If you're a Transformers fan, maybe you can tell me what you feel about this toy. Remembering that it is aimed at younger children. And when looking how much I paid, individual bot shots for me were $7, to buy the launches was $15.75, and the three packs was $18. It's obviously a toy, better off buying the three packs if you're going for it. But what I've quoted to you is the Australian retail price, and I'm very curious to hear how much these are in the country where you reside. Well, as I said earlier, I will be giving this stuff away, and it's very simple, but there's a slight catch. You need to be a video producer, because I would like someone to do a review of these toys once they're in your possession. And this giveaway is a hard and fast one. There's no mincing about I want these toys out of my garage. So the first person who is a video producer who can do a review, who types in this word here, and the word is Transformers, I will send all these to you tomorrow. It's that simple. Game over, done and dusted. If I come in and look at your channel and see you're not a video producer or a toy review person, I'll move on to the next person who's written in the word Transformers. And if the person who wins these bots has been a fan of mine and has been hitting that like button, and I'll look at the feed tab, don't you worry, I'll look. If you've been a fan of mine, I will also send you what you see on screen there. Just because it's coming close to Christmas. And who knows, if you do get these, maybe you'd like to throw a review over these as well. And remember, if I come in and look at your feed tab, and you've won those little bot shots behind, and I can't see evidence of you looking at my stuff, or people I know in the feed tab, those two prizes at the front will disappear. So to all those Transformer fans who are always saying to me, Hey Leo, go and look at some Transformers. Well, I hope this is filled part of the gap. But boy, I'm going to struggle looking at this stuff, because I have not got a clue what I'm looking at. So, if I've made mistakes, make sure you correct them for me. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Good pal. Three, two, one, and fire. Nobody defeats Optimus Prime. Rawr! Nobody defeats Optimus Prime. Rawr! I better do the good guys as well, so there's a balance in the equation.